big old bull calf's name is Dean, named by Nicole from Detroit, Michigan. Time to spread a little fertilizer. I've got five ton of fertilizer on the buggy and I'm gonna back into it, hook it up to my big tractor, uh, hitch it, hook up the PTO, hook up the hydraulics, and then we're ready to go to the creek place to spread fertilizer. got this simple little cheap GPS system that allows me to either go in contours or in straight lines. I'm going to do straight lines back and forth. Once we get started, I'll show you the lights and how you, you stay straight. You've got to get the PTO going right here on the tractor. Get it up to 540 RPMs. I'm going to lower the drive wheels. Start off in C1 here, up to C2. You can kind of go as fast as the terrain allows you to. We'll put the camera on the lights here in a minute, but there's, there's two rows of lights. There's a bottom one, and we try to keep it at the yellow light right in the middle. And then the top lights just tell you which way you kind of need to be turning. Red means you're to the left, green means you're to the right of the perfectly straight line. You just try to keep it, keep the lights, the yellow lights lined up. each. This is the fourth part, I believe. It's the last one, thank goodness. As expensive as it is. other neighbors so we're going to go try to help him get it in. Y'all take her in that gate down there?
I was checking cows and calves this morning, feeding a little hay, I noticed one calf laying by itself, went over and checked its head was down, uh, slobbering out of the mouth a little bit, really heavy respiratory problems. So it's rare, but we're gonna give it a shot this morning with a dart. Okay, this calf is just uh, about five weeks old. I'm guessing he's probably around 150 pounds, so I'm giving him one cc and a half. A little chapstick in the end to keep it from running out when I aim the rifle. Pumped it three times. It's a small needle, and I think I can get pretty close to the calf. Okay, here we go. one big bale in each of the round bale feeders so that the cows can come and eat whenever they want to. I would like for them to keep eating hay as long as possible because when they're just eating this first green grass in the spring, it doesn't have as much nutritional value because it's primarily water, so it just goes right through them and, and makes, uh, makes them have the squirts, quite frankly. This is the calf that we darted yesterday morning. Still not 100% see how he holds his head down a little bit compared to the other calves. Ears may be a little droopy, but he is a lot better. He's still breathing hard, but he's a lot better than he was yesterday morning. So we'll give this medication a little while longer to act on him. That's why we have to keep the gate shut over the cattle guard at night. That one had gotten out during the night. When I first went out this morning, I saw one with its feet down in the cattle guard, and I ran it back before it got out, but I guess I didn't see this one. Little calves have no respect for cattle guard. I don't think I've ever had a cow or a bull cross this concrete cattle guard. The calves go over it like it's fun. It's a sport. Started two days ago now has made a, a great improvement. He's not breathing nearly as hard. He's still not 100%, so we'll continue to keep an eye on him, but he's so much better than he was two days ago. Mm -hmm. 